What's going on YouTube? So if you follow the auto industry, you may have seen that Toyota brought back the iconic Crown nameplate to the US last year. However, that sedan SUV body style was very polarizing. Because of this, Toyota has the answer, and it's setting right beside me here in Malibu, California. The all-new 2025 Toyota Crown Signia. This is promising the stylish look and the Lexus-like luxury of the Crown, but without a sacrifice in practicality. So is this the next SUV for you? Let's take a first look and find out. So I want to start out here by talking about the exterior design. I think this is one of the most striking things about this. Obviously, this is an SUV, whereas the traditional crown is a bit of a combination between an SUV and a sedan. Because of that, you have a more classic look to this model, and it also has some distinct and shared styling elements between the two of them. I think here in the front, you'll notice that there's quite a bit of differences. So one of the things that you'll see here is this full body color kind of mesh grill going on here. I actually think this is very Lexus-like. It strongly reminds me of that unified spindle grill that Lexus has on the new TX. So you've got this little slit up here at the top and then the larger part of the fascia down here at the bottom in gloss black. Now coming over here to our headlights, this is another interesting area. You'll notice we have a split design. So up here at the top, we have our daytime running light going across here. This part here in the hood is actually just a styling part. This is not part of the lighting, but it kind of looks like it should be connected. And then down here is where we have the actual full LED projector headlight inside of this black housing. Now as we move on to our wheels, uh, you are going to have two trim levels with this Crown Signia. So it's pretty reduced actually, XLE and limited trim level. And that means you're going to have the option between 19 and these 21 inch alloy wheels. I really like the way these look. Full gloss or gray finish, excuse me, here with this model. And like I said, it looks very nice with the gloss black finish that goes around the wheel arches as well. Now taking a look at our mirrors. You're going to have standard blind spot monitoring on all models. Nice gloss black finish up here as well. But I'm going to go ahead and hand it off to Mason, who's going to tell you a little bit about how this model is positioned in the Toyota lineup. Now here at the side, you're definitely going to see this Crown Signia has a really cool profile. It's honestly not too boxy, and I really appreciate that in SUVs, at least nowadays. Now, I don't have official length figures. However, Toyota did confirm that 2024 will be the last model year for the Toyota Venza. So you can, in essence, think of this Crown Signia as the uh, vehicle that will come after the Venza and kind of replace it in the Toyota lineup. Now, as far as the rear design, let's go ahead and dive into what this is going to look like. Now, with this Crown Signia, we certainly have a lot sportier of a look than most SUVs. I really like it here in person. Big spoiler up top, and we have the full-length LED taillights from the Crown sedan thrown into this SUV. Looks really premium, Lexus-like, Crown sped out across the back. I do want to point out, no Crown Signia uh, badging, so it's actually just going to say Crown back here, which is a little bit of an interesting touch. You have your Beyond Zero badge back here. HEV, which is a little bit of a hint for the powertrain section, and no exposed exhaust outlets on any version of the Crown Signia. Now, as far as your safety systems are concerned, the Crown Signia is going to come with the entire safety suite of advanced safety features on both trim levels. However, I do want to point out that if you go for the top end limited with the tech package, you can get even more advanced safety systems, such as a traffic jam assistant. But guys, that wraps up the Crown Signia on the outside, but let's check out the inside and before. If you're new here, we're brothers and we've been reviewing cars since we were 12 and 16. We may be young, but we love cars. <laughs> and we'd love for you to subscribe to be a part of our Car Confections family. Let's learn a lot, have some fun with all the latest cars. All right, so I'm climbing inside this interior. I think one of the first things you'll notice is that this is a very premium looking interior overall. Definitely like the regular version of the Crown. First, let's take a quick look at the key fob. We do have a little bit of a different looking key fob with the gloss black finish, and you even have the uh, cool logo here on the back. I like that. I'll go ahead and fire up 
our electronics here. Obviously we're indoors, so we're not gonna fully boot up the vehicle, but we can get the screens and stuff started up here. Now, as we kind of give a tour of this interior, I wanna start off with those overall materials because I did already mention that. So over here on our door trim, we've got a lot of leather that's running all through here. As you probably noticed when I climbed inside, this is the brown interior. Uh, you do also have the availability of a black interior if you don't like this, but I think this is a very premium looking interior. And here with the limited trim, we have the full leather with the color contrast stitching. You do get a soft tex and a cloth seat if you choose the XLE trim level. More nice materials run all through here. Again, that nice brown just kind of flows all over the interior. Let's kind of zero in here next on our gauge cluster. So as you can see, 12.3 inch digital gauge cluster. Nice look to these, very vivid and bright. We also have the updated Toyota steering wheel. You have steering wheel heating on board, color contrast stitching, and the wheel itself will be manual tilt and telescoping. I'm noticing this top model also has rain sensing wipers. Now, taking a look at our storage, this is another Lexus-like element. It actually opens from both sides and a nice large console here, plenty of space. We've got two large cup holders. You have this slot right here, which is actually where you can stick your, wire, your phone for wireless charging, standard on all models. And then we have our electronic shifter that we've seen in several Toyota and Lexus products. 360 camera is an available option as well. Now let's go on up here to our climate controls. I do like this really clean setup here. You got the buttons all nicely laid out. You can adjust the temperature right here, your zones, your heated steering wheel, and your heated and ventilated seats. So if you choose this top limited trim level, that's where you get heated and ventilated seats. Very nice feature on board. This is also the trim level where we're gonna get our JBL sound system. Now obviously we're on a time crunch right now, so we can't give you a sample, but this is going to be your up-level JBL system. Now you don't have to get the uh, fully loaded model to get the 12.3 inch display though. So we've got that new Toyota multimedia infotainment system, nice map on board. Most important to you guys though, I think is that you have wireless Android Auto and wireless Apple CarPlay. The technology doesn't end there though. We have our digital camera rear view mirror. And then I like this element, that is our large panoramic sunroof. I just want you to be aware that it is a fixed sunroof. So while you do have the sunshade, this front panel does not open up. Now here in the rear area of the Crown Signia, I don't have official legroom figures or anything of that regard. However, we review a lot of cars and I wanna just go ahead and give you my professional opinion about this rear seat area. It's very nice. Uh, sitting back here, first of all, it's very comfortable. It feels very luxurious, like a Lexus. The seats are awesome. And as far as the leg room is concerned, look at how much space there is. And this seat is not even adjusted to a 5'8 driving position. It's actually scooted back further. And we're looking at probably about a foot of space. My feet can slide up underneath the seat. So this is definitely going to be a larger rear seat than what you get in the Venza currently, I think. Now here in the uh, center, we do have standard vents, two USB-C charging ports. And we're not done yet because if we turn to the the door trim we have a nice one and we're also going to have heated rear seats that's going to be standard here on the limited grade of the crown signia um, so i do like that they are giving you that for that extra premium feel but let's go ahead and check out the cargo area now the crown signia will give you a standard hands-free power tailgate regardless of what trim level you choose and as far as the rear area is concerned back here once again i don't have the official cubic feet cargo measures however just looking back here there is a lot of space i know it's really dark so i will apologize for that we are doing this in a studio so we can only control some of the elements here um, but the seats do fold 60 40 slip folding um, like I said, I don't have the official cubic feet, but I'm estimating this is around 60 to 65 cubic feet just based on what I see on the daily. It does seem to be a little bit less than the RAV4 because of the overall height of this cargo area. However, it is very long. Toyota says this is actually six and a half feet long, this cargo area. And I wanna show you this really cool trick that Toyota has included. This piece right here can actually fold over and allow for a completely flat loading floor. If we had this seat scooted up a little bit more, it would be completely flat. So that allows for a lot of extra practicality with this Crown Signia. Now you might've noticed from the badge on the back of this Crown Signia, but this is going to be a hybrid. And just like with the, crown, the traditional Crown that was already out, it is gonna be hybrid exclusive as well. But there is one big difference with this Crown Signia. 
That's the fact that this is going to be the traditional hybrid system and it's not going to offer the hybrid max system. So what that means is you'll have a 2.5 liter four cylinder engine, two electric motors, and total system power will be 243 horsepower. So if you wanted that more powerful unit, you are going to have to get that traditional Crown sedan instead of this Crown Signia. In terms of other elements to mention, we have an ECVT for our transmission. All wheel drive will also be standard equipment. And in terms of an estimated fuel economy, we're looking at about 36 miles per gallon, uh, which is typical for this Toyota hybrid system. And you're probably curious about pricing and all of that information. Afor unfortunately, Toyota has not quite released that yet. This vehicle is slotted to go on sale in summer of next year. So you're going to have to wait about six more months if you want this Crown Signia model. Um, and of course, official details will be coming out closer to that on sale date. However, we do want to provide you with an estimate of how much we think this vehicle might start at. Um, based on the current 2024 Crown sedan's price, we're thinking this Crown Signia could start around $43,000 and range up to about $50,000 to $51,000 fully loaded out. But guys, that's going to be where we leave off on this in-depth studio first look review of the all-new 2025 Toyota Crown Signia. If you enjoyed watching this video or found it helpful in your purchasing decisions, we would really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button down below. By subscribing, you help get us invited to events like this where we can show you some of the latest cars on the market. So please hit that subscribe button down below. If you're already a part of our family, thank you so much for your continued support, and we'll catch you next time as we sample more of the latest automotive delicacies.